Did everybody get the email that I sent with all the materials? Yes. 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 Okay. That is just for the start. Um, I asked some of the other advanced, the intermediate plus teachers, what they were doing. Um, one says she does a little bit of the Torah portion and the Hof Torah every week, which I said, okay. Um, <laughs> So when a few more people get on, I want to have that conversation besides and once we finish the Haggadah, and I didn't go deep into the Haggadah because I don't know what your practice is. So we're going to talk about that and about other things that are important to you. One teacher is going to focus much more on making sure everyone can read Ashray very well. <laughs> I don't know, you know, okay, maybe that's important to her class, but so I wanted to kind of find out what's in what is important to you. So I guess we can start this conversation and we'll wait a few more minutes. Um, what's important to you, Karen? What what's what did you want to focus on? I would like to be fluent in the prayer for Israel because it's oh. done at services all the time. And the beginning, you know, is fine. Then when it gets to the middle, I kind of you know mumble along. Yeah, I'm still working on that one. Okay. <laughs> Linda, how about you? That'd be good for me too. But I I I I I would just be pretty comfortable with anything in the um Saturday morning service because I do that, but um obviously now I'm doing um morning and evening services. So I I would be okay with, you know, anything out of that. Um for a minion for a for, for a minion. Cottage. Yeah. Minions and and you know this time of year we do basically ashray from minka and then do mourners kaddish, so I don't really need minka. Um, but sooner or later we'll you know when the time changes we'll do a full minka also. But right now I basically need shakari and and um, you know morning service and marif. And a lot of them are the same. A lot of yeah, a lot of it is the same. How about you, Gail? Um, I totally agree with Karen. I would like the prayer for Israel. The other one that I would like is the one that starts via hafta. Oh. It's the second, the main paragraph of the Shema. Shema, absolutely, because that's done very frequently, and you know I can get through a little bit, and then it's like gobbledygook, you know, and I'm like. <laughs> rushing to keep up and I'm not there. Got it. That's a so good one. I'd like to be very, very fluent in that as well. All right. For those of you who just came on, we're talking hi, about, hi, we're talking Actually, about um, areas of prayers you would like to focus on this semester. Sivian? I would like to review <laughs> Ashray. I don't know how everyone else feels, but I need, I would like it. <laughs> All right, Nancy, you have to unmute. <clears throat> so I would appreciate going back to the, um, to being able to be fluent and comfortable with the, when I get, if, if I get called for an honor, so to be able to say the prayers, and I reflected on this and was talking with some of my friends, I'm vintage enough that I did not grow up being, a, being able to read from the Torah. And so to um, know those prayers fluently is not something that I grew up with, wanting then that um, I, um, I'm thankful to be in the class. And um, so that's my biggest. And, and I'm, if you could direct me quickly to how to find and start learning it more fluently now, to, unless instead of waiting for after the Passover materials, that would be great help to me. Nancy, what book do you have at home? I my left my Sidor Sim Shalom, my skinny one is in my car. <clears throat> what okay. you have in I have uh, I have the uh Lev Shalem. All right, let me give you the page number on that one. Okay. Let me reach up for it. 
And I'm happy to make recordings for things. Oh, and yay. Is that this one? No, you, that's the Mahzor. So look on the front. So the red is because mm, <laughs> I have my background on. Um, okay, okay so I can get that one. You have that one? Okay, what you have is the Mahzor. Okay. That's for High Holidays. It gets his own book. Okay. And blessings to the Torah. The one thing I love about Lev Shalem is it says Torah service at the bottom in the corner. Lev Shalem just calls it morning service. Um, give me a moment. For those of you that just came in, we are talking about what we'd like to learn after um, the we do um, the Haggadah, things in the Haggadah. Um, all right, Torah blessings, I'm getting closer. So page 172, Nancy. It's got the blessings before and after. And something I did not know until I started teaching classes was it's this basically the first two lines are the barhu. I went, that is the barhu, but because it's sung differently and done in a different place, it was like, wake up. All right, Tula, is there a prayer in particular? Um, I'm sorry, Nancy. Thank you. You're welcome. Tula, was there something in particular you wanted us to focus on? No, that's fine. The ashray, I guess, is um, I, I just can't do it fast enough. And you know what? I learned to daven shacharit during the weekday when I daven shacharit on Shabbat. But weekday is different because in our shul, we, it's a different nusach, which we don't do that anyway, so I don't have to worry. But um, in on Shabbat, we do not do a repetition of the Amidah, but on weekday, we do. And if you're leading, you have to do the whole thing out loud. And it's a lot. And I'm getting it. But the man who normally davens, I can keep up reading, but I can't keep up chanting with him. <clears throat> yeah, in my show, I don't think they even read it. They just do the, you know, the parts they're supposed to say out loud because they go so fast. Yep. It's mumbling. Yeah. Marie, Mary. I'm good with whatever anybody else wants to do. I, <clears throat> I agree with Ashray. I agree with um, uh, the last comment. Um, I agree with Nancy. I'm good. Everything. I'm good. Okay. Jamie Frank. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Sure. There's a prayer. Um, it's like Ani Shmiro. Da 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 we, we haven't done, done it. See, we had two synagogues joined together, and it hasn't been done. But it's such a beautiful prayer. The the is melody. That, the that melody. Is that morning. before Ojan Alon? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, it's near the end. Yeah, it's right. Actually, I think it's right before Ojan Alon. Yeah. <laughs> Children usually sing that for yeah, some it's reason. Anim, yeah. It's the Anim Zimirim. Zimirov. Right. Yeah. yeah. I've never sung it in my life because my school didn't do it, doesn't do it. Wow. It's just, it's so, it's such a pretty melody. Where is it, Gail? Before what? It, it should be. Um, is it the one uh, in between? Yeah. It would be the one, there's two. In because between they turn back. Don Olam. No. It is. Um, it's the hymn of glory. Oh, there it is. Anim Zemir. Oh, glory. Yeah. It's on in. I have the. Um, it's 185. I have. Yeah. I have the Shador Shin Blah. Sim Shalom for Shabbat and Festivals. And it's on page 185. Yeah. And for those of you who don't, I'm looking it up. Um, 
It is um, Lev Shalem. It's on page 208. Yeah. So, it's so pretty. Say 208, 218? Yeah, correct, or 208. Oh, thanks. Jamie, is there a prayer that you would like us to focus on? Yes, please. The mourner's Kaddish when uh -huh. we have time. Yeah. So, ladies, this is fantastic. Instead of me saying, what should I work on? You have know exactly what you want to work on. This is great. My next question is, um, we are, we have had little kids until the last five or six years. Um, we don't read the Haggadah from top, from front to back, every paragraph. We do the major readings. We do a lot in English, not that we don't read a lot. And also my son and my husband created our own Haggadah. They took readings. And so it's not as long as a regular Haggadah. They picked what was meaningful to them. So my question is, how much, you saw what I sent out. Yes. Does that seem to fit for what you do at your tables for pa for Passover? Or do you feel like there's prayers missing that you want to cover? <clears throat> at our Seder, we actually use the Maxwell House and we go through the whole thing before and after the meal. Oh. And, um, in English or Hebrew? In Hebrew, and it's difficult oh. for me. I read a lot of the English, you know, and the Hebrew that I can. Um, All those dung hills. Oh. <laughs> so, and the singing. And now that both my grandchildren are in Hebrew school, I'm sure we're going to have to slow it down, you know, and um, have them participate more. I would love to see a copy of your Haggadah that you I will the kids. see if I have it digitally. You know, they just look through different Haggadahs and said, oh, this is meaningful. And oh, that is meaningful. But there's not a lot of Hebrew reading because, again, my kids were little and none of it, it didn't really mean much to us to just read it in Hebrew. Nobody knew what it meant. Mm -hmm. Anybody else feelings about the Haggadah that I sent? I think what you sent is fine. I mean, because it, as you said, it is individual. And if, and if we have the, the, the bones and the meat, the, the side dishes will be left to us. Okay. If there's something that comes up, like, Hey, my family reads this prayer and I want to get better at it. Um, let me know. Um, I, my family didn't have the Hebrew as a kid. My, my, my parents are Holocaust survivors. My, they didn't learn Hebrew to learn to read Hebrew and do services until much later in adulthood. So um, us kids were much more able to read Hebrew. So, all right, well, we'll go through what we have and I will keep this list and we'll add in when we finish. So I'm gonna share the screen and I did not do it. Oh, hold on a second, I got a claim post. Um, so I can share the screen with you all. <clears throat> I did not do it in how I used to do PowerPoints because then my um, thing goes out. My uh, point, my, what do you call it? PowerPoint? Your cursor. Oh, my, my cursor. So now I have tried it differently. <clears throat> can you all see that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Great. Much prettier in color. I printed mine <laughs> black and white. Some of them I printed what is actually on the PowerPoint because I couldn't get it to cut and paste. And so I just had to take a picture of it. So um, it's pretty. Can you move it a little bit to the left? Because I don't know. How do I, get, I have everybody's pictures on the right? And it's so what you want to do words. is so on your well, I got screen, rid of it. I got it. All right. Okay. okay. Just minimize the picture. I did. Uh, no, I, I got rid of it all together. So that's fine. So we always start um, Passover with candle lighting. And we do this often in my house. Okay. Is this one where we light candles? Is, I have to go back and look in the book. So um, hopefully you all know this, but we'll have take turns reading it for anyone who would like to read the candle blessing. <clears throat> Any volunteers? I'll start. Jamie, Thanks, I can do it. Go ahead, Karen. We'll just 
Baruch HaTad Anoi Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kedeshenu B'Mitzvotav Fitzivanu Lahadlik Ner Shel Yontav. Great, and I got this all off of Safari. It was very nice, but you'll notice here the third word Adonai. I talked to my rabbi about this, my current rabbi, mm -hmm. and he had no trouble with me using the English. The, some rabbis don't say take out the O because it's God's name. He was like, "No, it's fine. You're learning. It's fine." Um, and same thing with Eloheinu. They took out one of the letters, but just so you don't go, why is there a space there? It's because- yeah, I thought that was interesting. Yeah. A lot of people do it in English. My This rabbi says, no, it's fine. You're not desecrating God's name, you're teaching. So, would someone like to read it in English before we take turns in Hebrew? Sure. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who has sanctified us by God's commandments and has commanded us to kindle the light of the festival day. Thank you. And I will tell you that the English comes from Safaria and from another um, source that I got some of the prayers from. So would someone else like to read the blessing? Nancy? Question, please. Safaria, how do you spell it? S-E-F-A-R-I-A. E-F-E-R-E-R-I-A. -E okay. Yep. Uh, S-E-F-A-R-I-A. -E Safaria. Okay. Not Safaria, Safari, S-E-F-A-R-I-A. <clears throat> Got it. Thank you. Sure. Would anybody else like a turn to read the candle blessing? Gail. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kedishanu b'mitzvotah v'tzivanu lehadlik ner shel yom tov. Good job. I'm going to point out the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh, eighth word. And Kale, can you read that? Starts with the kuf. Yeah. Kid, kid, it's really kid shanu. Exactly. But how did we learn it growing up when we weren't reading the prayer in writing? We say things like kid shanu and but it's actually kid shanu. Yes, it is. But I will not be in your dining room. <laughs> you to tell you that you said it wrong and it again it's i'm not that nitpicky others are well canty lighting on friday night i'm so used to saying it you know kiddishano <laughs> i know and no one in your living room is going to correct you unless the guy at my show who is the ritual director <laughs> he will <clears throat> that's a little intimidating when i lead service and he's like Okay, we got to work on two words. <laughs> really? I just read, I just literally led like 30 pages and you're going to pick out two words, but oh well. Okay, anybody else? Tula. I will. Oh, sorry. Tula and then Nancy. Okay. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melecha Olam Ashir Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav Vatsivanu Lechad Lechner Shell yum tough. Excellent. Nancy. Barachata Adonai Eloheinu Melacholam Asher Kidishanu Bermitzvah Tav Vitsivanu Lahadlik Nair Shell Yom Tov. Beautiful. Any others? Thank you. Sivian. Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kidshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu lahad lekner shel yom tov. Nice job. Anyone else? Rhoda. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kidshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu lahad lekner shel yom tov. Excellent. Anyone else? Do you want everyone to do this? If you want. Oh, I'm good. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Aren't you glad I started with something easy? Mm -hmm. that everybody yeah. knows. <laughs> it, it gets easy. It's easy for a while. And it's like, oh, no. Yeah. And then it gets harder. Exactly. Oh, and Jamie wanted the blessing over the children. Thanks, Jamie. Um, that's another good one which in our house got complicated. Oh, and Kiddush, well, Kiddush 
um, will be in the Haggadah, but uh, it may be different. It may be different than Shabbat. Um, we blessed our children and we had the whole thing memorized in English about so we didn't have to read it. And then um, my son married a, his spouse is transgender. And now my daughter identifies as transgender. So now we leave off the male and female part. And we just bless them because it just gets complicated. There is a blessing. I have used the correct pronouns, but then it's like, no, we're just I, but when we're, I'm done blessing, I say, be good to him, God, because it's just too, <laughs> too difficult. All right, moving on. So this is something I learned in when I was very young in elementary school, um, the order of the Seder. And there's actually a little song for it that I'm going to teach you. But um, I figured we'd give different folks a chance to read the words maybe. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of you. So maybe if um, two people go from one person goes step one to seven, the other person goes eight to 15, and then we'll flip and we'll take turns so everybody gets to read each one. Does that make sense? Partners like we usually do? Nope. Okay. Do I have a first set of partners? I don't care. I, I can go. Okay, how about Jamie goes one to seven and Gail goes eight to 15. That's fine. Okay. Um, Kaddish, I think I- You got it, yeah. Okay, okay, good. Orachat, I'm trying not to look at the transliteration here. Yeah, I put my oh, I'm sorry <laughs> I put it in, I didn't realize it. That's okay. Um, Karpas, yeah, thanks. Yeah, taste. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, good. Magid Ra Ra Sa. Boy, I didn't even know. <laughs> okay, I don't even know what that is. Uh, Ra Ra Sa. I Ra -sa. mean, you know, you guys have. And gals have talked about just going through this without thinking because it's something you do and you just yeah. have never really looked at the word. So, all right. Um, Motsi. Good. And Gail's going to pick up next. Right. Ma, oh, sorry. Go ahead. That's all right. Matza, Maror, Korech, Shulchan. Fun. Hold on, there's something after Shulhan on number on line eleven. Oh, I'm, I had you know what I had my hand on. <laughs> Orech, Zafun, ba, Barech, Halel, Near, Sa. Thank you, Jamie. What were you saying about number six when you read it? What was your thinking? I just don't ever recall ever saying that word. Not that I'm well versed in Passover traditions. We I started celebrating later in life, but it just you know, it's just like, wow, what the heck is that? I don't believe I've ever said that, but obviously I have. Well, Jamie, when I I remember learning this probably from my third grade teacher who still is teaching. And we sang the song, and I always said, That's how I heard it. And yes. it wasn't until later in life that my son said, Mom, it's not Ratsa, it's Raksa. What? My whole life it's been Ratsa. I mean, it almost looks like a Tav. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, and some of these words you've probably heard before Kadesh. Yeah. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Karpas, that's the word for parsley. Um, let's see, what else would you? Motzi, ha motzi lechem. It's exactly what it is, saying ha motzi. Matzah, I'm sure you know. Maror, the bitter herb. Shulchan Orech. I don't know if you've been in teachings where 
your rabbi will refer to the Shulchan Orech, the book, um, but in this case, it's the meal. Barech comes from Baruch. Barech is actually um, very similar to, if it's not the same word, for knee. Because when you when you read the blessing in Baruch Hu et Adonai and you bend your knees. Um, Hallel, how many of you are in shul when we do, when they do Hallel? It's exactly what it is. It's Hallel. So this is the order. So what I have, can I, can we flip it now? Mm -hmm. Sure. All right. Kadesh. Orchatz. Orchatz. Karpas. Yachatz. Magid. Rach Motsi. Great, Jamie. Matza. I'll sing. Ha Matza Maror Korech Shu Shuhan Orech. Safun? Safun? Good job. You got it. Barech. Halel. Nirza. Great. Um, so, and the, the lettering is a little bit different than the prayer book. So it's getting you to see letters like Yachatz, number four. It's a little bit different of a final tzadi than you might have seen. Nice job, ladies. Do I have two other volunteers? <laughs> Nancy and Karen, I saw your hands first. So Nancy, one through seven, Karen, eight through 17. Okay. 17, I don't have 17. 15, oh, 15. sorry. <laughs> no, I, I, don't even, I don't even have 15. <laughs> I go to 14 on my, on my, on my screen. Oh. Um, move, <clears throat> move it up moving around because this happens in Macomb where people are like, I can't see it. And it's not because it's, can you expand your page <clears throat> at the top? Left core, I don't know what device you're on. Do you have a thing uh, where you can make Yeah, but it minimize. No, it's not good to do that because I can't read what was written. Oh. That. I've got to somehow get rid of this now. Oh, dear. Uh, standard. Uh, Oop, how'd that happen? No, I just, I just want, I'm on full screen and it just, it, I can see the tops of the letters, but I can't see what the word is for 15. Um, okay, I'll help you. I'll give it to you. Yeah, yeah, whenever I get there, it's not an issue. Okay. All right, Nancy. Okay. Kadesh, Ur, Katz, Karpas, Yachatz, Magid, Rach tsa motsi motsi matza. To go further. Ma oh yeah, sorry. Um, Karen Rhoda is starting at eight. Sorry. Karen you said. Oh Karen, sorry. Matza maror korech um, shulchan. Safun. Hold on, there's more after Shulchan on line 11. Oh, yeah. Shulchan Orech. Orech. Um, Safun Barech Halel Nirza. Thank you. I'm sorry, Rhoda. Um, I, I said Nancy instead of Rhoda, we'll get that's, you next. That's okay. All right, Nancy, you want to start one through seven? Or am I supposed to go to the top? I think is Karen, isn't Karen supposed to Karen. Oh, they did one through Karen seven. does one through seven and Nancy right. does eight through okay. fifteen. Okay, thank Kade, you. Kadesh or Hats Karpas Yachets. One more time on four. Um Yachats. There you go. Magid Rachsa Mor Motsi Matsa. Oh, okay. A I know it's you can't <laughs> do mozi without matzah. It's just it's almost impossible. That's okay. 
I did it to you too, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So number eight, matzah, moror, koreh, shulchan oreh, safun, baareh, halel, nirza. Beautiful. Thank you. Would someone like to team up with Rhoda? Oh. <laughs> well, I promised you, and then I promptly <laughs> mixed up the Sivian and Rhoda. Rhoda, do you want to take? Okay. Yeah, I'll start. Let's do one through eight, so nobody has to break up Motsi Matza. <laughs> okay. Kadesh, Kadesh Urchatz, uh, Karpas, uh, Yachatz, uh, Magid, Rachat, Rachza, uh, Motsi, uh, Matza. Mora, Kalreich, Sholchan, Oreich, Safun, Barech, Halal, Nirza. Can you read line 14 for me one more time? Halal. There you go. All right. Flip it. Hadesh, okay. Urchatz, Karpas. Ya Chatz, Magid, Rach Sa, Motsi, and Matza. Good job. Maror, uh, co rates. Uh, read that one again, the ending. Oh, yeah, sorry. Co Rech, co rate. There you go. Um, Shul Khan, uh, or Rech. Uh, Safun, uh, Barech, Halel, and I don't have the bottom one. Near Tsa. Near Tsa. Okay. Good job. Do we have any other volunteers? Linda. Linda, would someone team up with Linda? Tula. Linda, how about one through eight? Tula, nine through 15. <clears throat> okay. Kadesh, Urhats, Karpas. Yahats, Magid, Raksa, Motsi, Matsa. Uh, Maror, Orach. One more time. Orach. There you go. Um, Shul, Khan, Orach. Orach. Um, Sifun, Orach. Halel near Tsa. Beautiful. Flip it. <clears throat> Kadesh or Hats Karpas Ya Hats Magid Rach Tsa Motsi Ma Tsa. Maror Koreh. Shulchan, Orech, Safun, Barech, Halel, Nirza. Nice job. Um, um, a I friend of mine oh. always um, sings this every year. Do you know the tune for this? I do, and I'm, we're going to sing it as soon as everyone's had a turn. <clears throat> oh, okay. Karen, did you want to say something? Yeah, number 14. Is it Halel? Mm -hmm. yeah. Halel. Halel. Halel, but ha, ha, it's two dots under the lamin. Halel. Okay. Halel. 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 I, very similar to Halel. They just that's how it's pronounced. Oh, okay. Um, any others want to turn? Okay. Ready to hear it sung? Yep. And I'll make a recording and send it to you. Kadesh or Hats, Karpas Yahats, Magi Raksa, Motsi Matsa, Maror Korech, Shulchan Orech, Safun Barech, Halel Mirza. 
can't say I love the ending. It's like not a pretty ending, but that's how it ends. Very nice. So what I'll do is I'll make a recording and then you can practice if anybody wants to sing it for us next week. <laughs> we'd love to hear you, but this is something that you can add to your uh, Passover table when going through the Haggadah. You can go, I can sing it. And you'll invite <laughs> everybody at the table. Even better, uh, send out the recording to all your guests <laughs> and they can sing it with you. <laughs> Even better. That I'll leave up to you. Um, so it's just nice. And I've seen activities where teachers will put all these on footsteps on the ground. And, and as this class learns the steps of the Seder, the kids move along on the steps. So um, you look at that and you go, 15, how long are we going to be here? <laughs> <laughs> Any questions about the order of the Seder? Okay. Yeah, it was just when you thought it was back and easy. Now we do Kiddush. This is not your typical Kiddush. Um, it's a holiday Kiddush. So we will, I will try to get to regular Friday night Kiddush, but then Shabbat, well, Friday night Kiddush, but this is the holiday one. I wanted us to read through it. Um, I can also make a recording if anybody wants it. Um, so the beginning is typical for Shabbat, but then the second part is not. So does anybody yeah. know? Yes. I have, I have a question because I was looking at, the, I printed my own, you know, from, from what you sent, because I like to have it in front of me. And I've noticed that, um, like in the first line, I know what it says, the word Eloheinu doesn't have unless i'm missing it but i didn't see it anywhere else um the dot over the lamed it's there it's in between it's resting between the lamed and the hay there's a little dot there it's on top of the lamed i can't no. see it i can't see it do you see it on the screen no 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 nope. the first line Savri yes. it's on Maran. the screen oh. it's right there it's right here. Yeah. Oh, on the first line. Okay. All right. And then the other the other question I had, there was there's another word, unless you know, I'm I wasn't sure. Um la sa. And is that a shin or a sin? Tell me the, which line you're on. One, two, three, third, one, okay. two. Three, four, five, the sixth word in. Third line, sixth word in. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Are you including the first line as one of the lines? Yeah. One, I two, three. It. And sixth word in. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have Elohenu. Elohenu. Oh. Okay. Then maybe this didn't. Lusasson? Are you talking about Lusasson? Yeah. Uh, uh, the third line down. Oh, last word on the th no third line. It, Did it print differently than I have it here? Oh, the comma. got it because I cut and pasted. Oh yeah, it came out. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, because I had to adjust it. Okay, that is le sa son. Le sa son. Okay, because All I sure. oh, I see. So what they do sometimes, and it got me the other day. You'll see it more with shins than you will see it with sins, I would think, um, is sometimes the dot will be over the shin. And let's say if that word was loche sewn, <coughs> sometimes two words will share a dot. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So instead of putting a dot for lamed and a dot for the shin, then they're going to get all smushed together. What they'll do is they'll put a, a dot for O for Lamed and Shin will share that dot. I'm trying to think. Oh, go up, go up to for a second line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <clears throat> eleven, twelve, thirteenth, fourteenth. La shown. Do you see that? Yeah. Yes. Notice how there's only, well, that's not a good example. Pretend that the ah wasn't there. That 
vowel wasn't there. Imagine that the word was lo shown. The way they would write it is just like you see it without the underneath. The what? I didn't press anything. <laughs> um, so if that ah wasn't there, they wouldn't put two dots, one for the lamed and one for the shin they would share. <clears throat> and I think that's what's going down be below is the shin <clears throat> and the vav are sharing a dot, but it does it's not very apparent to me. Okay. Well, well they could have so put both. To me. So <laughs> I wasn't quite I read it the way you said it, but I wasn't 100% sure, which is why I asked you. I disagree with them. There is room for two dots. <laughs> I mean, any I, other? I, yes, Nancy. Okay. Um, in my printing, the lines are different, and I yep. do not see the line that shows here as the first line, this one that says, that starts with sorry. sorry. I don't see that at all. It didn't print out. No. I wonder if I'm the only that. one. No. I apologize. That is possible. I will um, resend that. Yeah. May I suggest yes. something? Sure. Maybe when you go to hit print, go down and reduce the size so you'll get everything on the slides. I think what happened potentially is I redid things to make it look better on the screen. What I'll do is I'll take a picture of each screen and send it to you. I was trying to make it so that it was scalable. So if some of you said, oh, I need this larger. You could right. make it larger. If I send you the slide, a picture of the slide, you can't do a whole lot with it. So I will read do, do the slides. Um, Thank you. Yeah. I'm I'm great on my screen. Or the but other option is Debbie. If, isn't that like sending a PDF? You can't do anything yeah. with a PDF. It's engraved no. in stone. Right. What I can do is I'll send you. I'll just send you the one line. I'll send you this link to this presentation, and you can print it. Okay. The only thing I ask is don't change anything on it because if you change it, it changes for everybody. Oh, that's right. You yeah. know what? I'm looking now at what I at what you and when I printed it out, same thing happened to me. So because yeah. what happened here, I'll show you what I did. Isn't that interesting? Now I know exactly what I did. I thought I was being good. Hold on. You were being good. You are. <laughs> Here's you're what happened. I'm going to show you. That's really weird. No, it's actually not. Um, <laughs> hold on, I gotta find where I put it. I mean, I didn't mean to open up a can of worms. No, because <laughs> it's not just gonna be this, I'm telling you that. Um, here it is. Maybe not, I'll find it a different way. Give me just a second. Cause it's good because there may be more Issues. And right, I'm glad I said uh, something. Right, because uh, I was going to say, need to say something. I was missing a whole line. Yeah, yeah so am I. You're right. That's very weird. The top line. So here's so what why happened. PD, why, if you PDF'd it, did it drop off the top? Because I changed it. So I, what I, instead of taking a picture of each slide, I cut and paste. And so things, I missed it. It didn't copy it. Well, um, Got it. Okay. So what I'm going to do That's is I'm going to go back and fix it, but I'm just going to send you the whole presentation, um, the whole the whole presentation, so you or can you print out the slides exactly. Okay. Or you could send the one line and we could paste it in. That's true, but I think there's going to be more. Okay. Just have that sneaky suspicion. <laughs> there's going to be more. All right. So we'll just start today the last 15 minutes just doing the first line um i have to say that i've done kiddish a lot of times i've never seen varaba non varaba tie and um they do not have it um i'm not sure it has to do with who's at the table who's joining so you might see it again, you might not. So do I have a brave soul who would be willing to read the top line? I'll try. Great, thanks, Nancy. Okay. Savri Maranan Vara Banan Vara Boat 
that's not right. Vera botai bore. No, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Bore Peri HaGofen. Nice job. See, only the first part was tricky. Yeah. Right. And, and I'm sorry, what does the first, what do the first four words mean? I don't have it. That's okay. Um, I just thought if I've never seen it before, it's like, okay. <laughs> Let me look. Um, I have to find out, but it's, I think it has to do with who's, who's with you, like, um, friends, I have to look it up. I'll have to get back to you with that. Okay, that'd be great. Wonderful. Anybody else like to try the first one? Mary. Oh, I have to look at it on your screen. Um, Zavre, is that it? Savri. Savri. Ma Mara. Non, non. Yeah. Viraba, non. Virab, ota. Look at the ending of that word. Virab, bo, tai. There you go. Okay, Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Alam, Ore Peri Hakovin. Amen. Anybody Is else? Somewhere can we pull out the wine? Yeah, this would be a good point <laughs> tonight. 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 Kula. Savri Maranan, Barabanan, Barabotai. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Bere Peri Hagafim. Nice job. Anyone else? All right, Gail. So free. Maran Maranan Verab Nan Verabotai Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Bore Puri Hagafen. Nice job. Who else? Debbie. Right, Karen. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes, After you say um, the end, do you say Amen? We do. Does anybody yeah. know what Amen means? So be so it. Be Can also mean I agree. I have a kid's song about, I agree, I agree, amen. So the people who say amen are the people who are not saying the blessing. Oh. So if you sing, if you sing the blessing too, then you don't need to say amen, only the people who agree. Oh, wow. Okay. Did not know that. Wow. All these years. Thank you. Um, hold on. Thanks, so, so at the end of my next negotiating session or business <laughs> meeting, you know, I'll just say amen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I don't have all of the explanation, but on Kiddush in Lev Shalem, you say Savri Haverai Vahaverotai. So, and that means um, with the ascent of my friends. So I'm not sure what Rabbanan Varabotai is, Maranan Varabanan Varabotai, but it has basically you're asking for agreement for the people that you're that are gathered with you. But I will uh -huh. look that up. All right. Do we have another volunteer? Karen. Sovri Maranam Vira Banan Vira Botai Barokata Adonoi Eloheno Melaka Olam Bere Prihagafen. Very nice. Who else? Sivian. Savri Maranan. The Rab of Nan the Rabotai Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Bore Pri Hagafit. Nice job. Who else? Are we also always supposed to say those first four words? Nope. So for regular Kiddish. 
I do. I start with um, Vaihiva era Vaihivo Kerya Um, I'm going to go through it. Savri Maranon. I don't. I have to look it up in our prayer book because I have it memorized, and I, this tricks me up a little bit. I normally say Savri Maranon Varabotai, so I got to find out what the Varabanan is. I'll get back to you on that one. I don't know what it means. I think it's just you're asking permission to pray with with the rest of the group. Debbie, so. when do you say I am? Um. Down here after Baruch and I, oh, um, normally you'd say, when you say Baruch and I, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Borei, or no, actually I take that back. I think after, it's after the beginning. Oh, right, after the beginning. Oh, normally here. Savri Maranon Varabanon Varabotai, right here. Lahayim. Right, that's what I think, yeah. Yes, so a lot of people in shul will scream, Lahayim, right there. Um, why there? I'm not sure. Because it sounds good. <laughs> but um, it was after the Savri. It's Savri Maranon Varabanon Varabotai Lechayim. That's at least what they do at our school. Oh. At the I'd end. like to try. Go for it, Jamie. Okay. Savri Maranon Varabanon Ravanan Varabotai. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Halom Bari Parik Hagapen. Nice. <clears throat> Who else? Rhoda. <laughs> Savri Maranan Varab Nan uh, Varabotai. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Berei Pri Hagafen. Nice. Did we get everyone? I think so. I didn't do it, but I I I knew that. Well, did you want to? It's up to you. Just... I'm no pressure. <laughs> okay, just Savri Maranan Varabanan Varabotai Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Berei Pri Hagafen. Beautiful. You know, this is the way I think about it. We're all adults. You signed up for this class. You're coming. You will do what you feel comfortable with. If you, you might say, well, I already know this, but oh, Linda, that was beautiful. And you read it very fluidly. So sometimes it's good. I love watching you guys when someone else is reading and your mouths are moving. I know you're practicing. So if you want to volunteer, that's fine. If you're having a day where you're like, I'm not volunteering today, that's okay. <laughs> Um, we'll get to the rest of Kiddush next week. Um, so I will send you the Kadesh recording. I will um, reprint, reprint the page for um, Kiddush. And I will also send you um, a PDF of all the slides so nobody accidentally changes anything. And then you can reprint all the slides if you want, if you want them pretty in pink. Um, and so you have it in case I've, and believe me, there will be more mistakes. I'm just, I was on vacation when I made most of it. I came back and redid it last, you know, looked at it last week, but there's always mistakes. So, um, don't worry. Any questions? Where did you go Why on holiday? What? Where did you go on holiday? We went to Florida for two weeks, oh, more like no, two nice. and a half weeks. Very it nice. was absolutely lovely. And then came back to, did we ever have a vacation? <laughs> a friend of mine's mom was um, diagnosed with a tumor early in December. And we got back on January, something like right after MLK. And she died the next morning. And she didn't make it very long. Um, and so you know, I'd been talking to them all through our vacation. At one point, I sent pizza to the hospital, um, and I told them when it happens, I'll coordinate. So we were home, not even 12 hours, and she passed away. So jumping into, and the funeral wasn't here. So jumping into, you know, setting up the meal two hours north, and 
arranging all the Shiva meals. So it was like that, and it's just kept going since. So we, we look and say, did we have a vacation? <laughs> I need another one. You need yeah. another one. We're hoping this summer, um, just lots of moving parts in our lives. We have both have older parents and kids who have schedules. So we're waiting to see what everybody else does before we can make a vacation. So, but I hope you all stay warm. Who's warm? Who lives where it's warm? Nancy, where are you? In Sacramento. And thankfully it's not raining at the moment. And um, it was really quite scary actually for mm. those several weeks where we had that bomb cyclone weather event. Yeah. Thankfully, I did not have to evacuate. Thankfully, we did not have any of that. Today, it's not cold. So, so I am, and it's we've got some sunshine this afternoon. So warm here for winter would is in the 50s, 40s and 50s. I would take that in a heartbeat. Me too. Right. Some of you yeah, are but, really frigid places. So, but I have to say we were in Florida and it was in high 70s low 80s every day nice. it rained once for 10 minutes or while we were sleeping and wow. the Friday, we left sunday and friday night the temperature dropped to the 40s and right. the next day it didn't get above 60 and high winds but i was like it's freezing <laughs> and it was 60 degrees <laughs> so uh -huh. it's all relative did right you now, want to see it what is, so it's 16 right here in new york and going down to two tonight yeah we're minus 16. Uh, Where are my, you? Wait, no, minus healthiest. 16 as healthiest. your. I'm in Toronto. Oh, uh, oh. Uh -huh. you scared me there. <laughs> I am sorry. That's crazy. Yeah, wow. yeah she's, uh, Karen, I think you're quoting, you're not quoting Fahrenheit, right? Oh. No. It's, she's right quoting now. Celsius, everybody. Celsius. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, so, oh. Um, Jamie yeah. just found this The Meeting of Sabri Maranon. Do you want, somebody want to read it? I can make it bigger. Or you want me to read it? It was it's not easy to find. All right. Thank <laughs> you, Jamie. It, it is customary before reciting the bracha over the wine to proclaim sabri maranan, to which the people listening to the bracha respond lachayim. What's the meaning of this practice? The word sabri means pay attention. And thus, when the person reciting the Kiddush announces sabri maranan, he is simply calling the people around him to attention, literally. Pay attention, my masters. Therefore, a person who recites the bracha alone does not first announce Sabri Maranon. Because who are you talking to? Your wall, I guess. <laughs> why must the person reciting the bracha call to the others to attention? And why do they respond l'chaim? The commentators explain that since wine can be both beneficial and destructive, and can bring both blessing and curse, before we recite the bracha over the wine, we, are, we formally express our wish that the wine should serve a beneficial purpose. Rav Shlomo Loria from Poland in the 16th century noted that wine is associated with death, as indicated in the Gemara, the Sanhedrin, which states that wine was given to a person before execution in order to alleviate his fear. Wine was also customarily given to mourners to help ease their grief. And so when we drink wine on happy occasions, we announce that the wine is being used for a joyous purpose and not heaven forbid the opposite. Similarly, the tree from which Adam and Chava ate, according to one view, was a vine, and Chava actually prepared wine, which she and Adam then drunk. And we know that after the flood, Noah drank wine and became inebriated, which resulted in a curse upon, on, upon one of his sons. We therefore express our wish before drinking wine that it should be a blessing, not curse. The Shiure Knesset Hagedola, Rav, Rav Haim, Ben Benishti in Turkey in 1603 to 1673 notes the story told to Masechet Megillah of Rabbah, who became inebriated during his Purim celebration and killed Rabbi Zera. Oh the God. Rabbi Zera was then miraculously brought back to life. This too <laughs> demonstrates that potentially harmful consequences of drinking wine, and thus we proclaim Lachaim to express our wish that only positive outcomes should result from our drinking. We might also suggest an additional explanation. In Parsha Kitavo, the Torah lists the 98 Kalalot curses that would befall the Jewish people in exile. Yeah, baby. 
And our nation has indeed suffered these calamities over the course of our four exiles. But in Tehillim, David teaches us that we must raise a cup of wine for both happy occasions and the opposite. Sarah ve'yagon emsa ubeshem Hashem ekra. Kosh Yeshuot esa ubeshem Hashem ekra. Both when we're enduring calamity and when we celebrate salvation, we call out to Hashem in faith, knowing that everything God does is for the best. And so when we drink wine, the one reciting the bracha lift, first lifts the cup and says, Sabri Maranan, as if to say, what do you say about the misfortunes and troubles that we are experiencing? And then everyone responds, Lahaim. The numerical value of Lahaim is 98, alluding to the 98 curses of Parsha Kitavo. The response of Lahaim thus expresses the belief that even these misfortunes are for life as they help bring us toward the perfection which we seek. The exchange of Sabri Maranan and Lahaim is thus an exchange about um emunah, faith, as we declare that we raise our cup to Hashem in both joy and sorrow, both good times and bad, resolute in our belief that everything Hashem does is the very best thing for us. Wow, Jamie, thank you. Wow, thank you, Jamie. Can we receive wow. that by any chance? I sh um, yes, if you click on the link that Jamie sent, it'll open in a chat. new browser. But I'll also forward it with yes, my please. other stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Very You're welcome. welcome. Thanks, Jamie. I, really I am. Really a lot. Yeah. I am suspecting that um, Maranon Varabanon is just more inclusive language, but I'm going to have to find that out. I'm oh. going to be with two rabbis tonight. Guess what? <laughs> We're going to talk about at dinner. <laughs> so. Well, thank you, ladies. It was a good first session. Yeah. And um, I know that we will be having class on um, the 10th. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what's happening in my life um, in the coming weeks. My in-laws who live in a independent living in Arizona are moving into assisted living. And I told my husband I would go with him to get them settled. So we don't know the dates yet. I will more than likely be on on the 17th. The 24th is questionable. Okay, whatever. So I'll you. keep you posted. Whatever but... works for you. Thank you. Absolutely. will work for All us. right. Wonderful. Thank well, thank you. I wish you Shabbat Shalom. And to you too, everybody. Thank you very, very much, thank everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Don't stay warm. Back. Stay warm. Bye, all. Bye, Bye, thank Bye. you.